Hey guys, I'm so, so, so sorry that I have not updated you guys on my pregnancy. I did make a video in my first trimester. Now I'm in my second trimester, but I did make a video in my first trimester, but just wasn't able to upload because I've been so sick and I'm still sick and I'm four months now, but it's kind of crazy. If you're not my friend on Facebook or if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably wouldn't have known that I'm so sick and I'm unable to really post YouTube videos. But when I say I don't do anything, I can't work, I can only sit at home. I mean, I can do things, but I'm scared that I'll be sick if I go out and like throw up everywhere. <laughs> but um, it's the reason why I'm so sick and I'll get into that. But I'll just tell you about my first trimester and then go into my second trimester. <laughs> Okay, so my first trimester, um, I found out when I was about four weeks pregnant that I was pregnant. And um, I found out with the pregnancy test and then I took about two or three more. Went to one of the community hospitals to, you know, get my first visit out the way. And um, basically all they did was just confirm that I was pregnant. So now I switched doctors. And, um... My cravings, I craved celery out of the hot wing, out of the, you know, hot wing box. I just wanted the celery that's dipped in hot, hot sauce with some ranch. I wanted the banana peppers out of the Papa John's box. Not the pizza, just the peppers. And I wanted Campbell soup, the vegetable soup, not progressive. I wanted the alphabet soup with the vegetables in it. Um... Please excuse my little brother. He's going crazy. But, um, yeah, those are the main things that I craved. Um, I didn't start getting morning sickness till my first, um, confirmation visit. I threw up at the doctor's office. That morning I had drank, like, some chocolate milk before I went and that came up. And then after that I probably thrown up maybe... 11 times since then but I'm not I was nauseated every day like every single day during my first trimester every day like no breaks no days in between where I just felt like really good and just wanted to go shopping no um let me see what else hmm didn't really start getting any pains itself or pelvic pains um, normally when I used to come on my menstrual cycle, I would get pelvic pains instead of cramps. It just feels like a whole bunch of pressure down in your vagina area. And, um, what else? Well, I'll just say I didn't feel like doing anything. I didn't want to wash my hair. It took me two months to wash my hair. Um, I didn't feel like doing hair. I didn't feel like doing makeup. I had broke out so bad in my T-zone. Oh my God, that was the worst thing ever. I look like a crackhead. Um, <laughs> um, if you, I think you guys saw it on the last couple of videos, the last two contest videos, where in my T-zone, it was like horrible shedding in my face. I literally had to put extra virgin olive oil on my face just to help it because cocoa butter didn't work. My Nivea cream didn't work. Nothing worked. So... Eventually, after my first trimester, well, actually, after my first two months, it went away. Thank you, Lord. Um, but now, I haven't gotten acne or anything like that. I do get, like, light patches in my face. And, hmm, what else? And chapped lips. Oh, my God. My first trimester and still now, my lips are so, 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 so dry. Like, it's horrible, horrible. And, um, hmm, there's something else I was just about to tell y'all. My lips are dry, and, well, I'll just say that's it for the first trimester. Moving on to the second. Now, I'm 15 weeks and two or three days, and, it's getting better. My nausea is getting better. I have three or four good days and then it'll come on to a day where I just 
wake up and I have to throw up. Um, my cravings now are just pickles and what else do I crave? Oh, I had craved some um, sour cream and onion, no, French onion dip, some jalapeno cheddar dip, and some plain lace chips. And I got that craving out the way. But it's like once you start eating it, it'll be like after that day, you really don't want it anymore. So I really haven't ate it since those two days that I ate it. Um, I really can't overfeed myself. Now I get to the reason why I can't overfeed myself. But um, if I do try and eat too much, I'll feel like I'm about to throw up. And I've been drinking plenty of water. Um, I cut back on my sodas. For my nausea, they prescribed me promethazine pills, but I only take a half of a pill. Uh, they prescribed me that in my first trimester when I went to my confirmation. And um, my expected due date is May 17th, 2013, but it will be pushed up. It won't be in May, probably. I'll be able to tell you guys my new due date. Um, what else? Okay, so let me just get to the big news. So, I went to the hospital with the emergency room on November the 15th because I had an hour and a half long nosebleed. Like, it was not just like dripping, it was like gushing. And I did the ice, I hit my head back, hit my head forward, put a cold towel on it, everything. I've tried everything that I know to man to do. But I was after 30 minutes, I was posting on Facebook. I was like, 30 minutes, hopefully this nosebleed go away. Hour, hope this nosebleed go away. So then after that hour, I was just like, I just need to go ahead and go to the doctor. So, you know, I waited about a good 30 minutes. But they took my blood pressure, looked at my nose, everything, um, checked my urine, checked my blood. They told me my blood pressure was high. And, you know, they had to do an ultrasound. So my blood pressure was one, what was it, 170, 175 over 65 or something like that, or 165 over, it was 165 over 70 or 175. I mean, 165 or 160 over 75 or 70, it was one of those. So my, my blood pressure was kind of high. But um, during my ultrasound at the ER, uh, the lady was like, she couldn't tell me anything. She couldn't let me see the baby or anything like that. And I was just like, well, just let me know if the baby is okay because I haven't heard the heartbeat. I haven't seen the baby. I haven't had an ultrasound because I planned my next visit at my new doctor for December the 4th, which is coming up. I planned my Next visit for December 4th, just because I knew it would be close to the time that I can know the gender. So, by the time I get back in my little room, the doctor comes in and tells me, Well, you know you're having twins, right? I cried. I said, What? Girl, quit playing. What am I going to do with two kids? Lord Jesus. So, I was pretty mad. I was I was upset. I called my mama and I was telling her I was so mad because I didn't want two kids. Oh my god, I'm only 22. Then my birthday is only a month before my due well, two weeks before my due date. So I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do with two kids? Lord Jesus. But everything will be okay, you know. But um they did give me a paper on everything about my babies. Um the heart rate for twin A was 165. The heart rate for twin B was 164. Um, it says there is a thin intervening, intervening membrane. There appears to be a single anterior placenta. This is most likely representing a monocryonic diamondic. I don't really know how to say the word. But um, basically, they pushed me back a week. Because they said the size of my babies looks like they were about 13 weeks. Which I was 14 weeks. Well, I'll be 14 weeks the next day. And they were saying that I'll be 13 weeks the next day. Um, so basically they're saying that 
I will be having identical twins because they share the same placenta, but it's just a small membrane that separates them. Um, oh my gosh, but I just never wanted two boys and two or two girls. Lord Jesus, please just give me one or the other because I don't know what I'm going to do. But, you know, now I'm coping with it. I don't really mind it, but, you know, it's going to be a hassle because I'm going to be a single mom. Um, the child's father, he's still in the picture, but we're just not together. But, you know, it'll all work out. But um, now, I do feel the babies, or one of them, I normally feel the one that's on my left more. Because sometimes it'll press up against my rib. And if I press on my stomach, I'll be able to feel something. I don't know exactly what part of the body it is. I do now get lower back pains. And I still get my abdominal pains. Um migraines oh my gosh i get migraines so bad the regular tylenols don't work but the tylenol pms do i would take one tylenol pm it'll make you sleepy it'll make you comfortable you'll feel good and you'll go right to sleep um what else i can't force myself to eat i only eat small portions throughout the day if I do try and eat a lot, like Thanksgiving, I only ate one time for the whole day. Please don't get me wrong. I tried to eat again, but it felt like I was going to throw up because I was still stuffed. Like, stuffed, stuff. I think that the babies are pressing up against um, something, and it's just not letting me force myself to eat. I think they're pressing up against my intestines because it's two babies instead of one. But um, my appetite has not doubled, and I think that... Is taken away from my babies that's why that they push me back a week instead of me being the week that I'm supposed to so yeah with twins you can only go actually 37 to 38 weeks which is full term for us uh, but it could be before then it could be in between 34 to 38 weeks so yeah I found out my new due date on the 4th of December and oh i'm sorry i have the hiccups and I, and I burp a lot and your nose is always stuffy always and hmm. oh baby names um if it's a girl if it's two girls their names will be janice and jaylee and if it's two boys, their name will be Jonah and Jacob. But if it's a boy and a girl, their name will be Jacob. I mean, not Jacob. Jonah and Jaylee. But, yeah, that's it. But I will try and keep you guys updated. I'll try and do another video when I get a little bigger. Because right now, I know some people that's four months and are bigger than me. And by me having twins, I know that, you know, by me not eating excessively i'm just not really huge but i do eat healthy like my snacks consist of fruits more than junk food i don't crave candy um i drink sodas and i do eat greasy food sometimes but i love soup the babies love soup and we just can't eat fried i mean like fast food like mcdonald's we can't stand mcdonald's but wendy's potatoes with some chili oh yeah this our stuff but yeah i will keep you guys updated and i'll do a little belly shot for you guys let me try and move this back a little bit so you guys can see okay i hope you guys can see that okay i just look wide but there's my baby bump. It looks bigger on camera. Maybe if I pushed it back some, but it's not that huge. It looks huger on camera. But yeah. I hope that this is oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry. I hope that this video was informative. 
and I know that my camera is kind of doing this right now yeah but I hope that this video was informative because I know it's a lot of stuff that I try to look up on YouTube about my pregnancy and I find a lot of good stuff but you know like as far as websites I can't find anything except for if I go on YouTube they don't have any type of baby apps for twins or anything like that so you guys keep checking in you know write me check up on me because I always need a friend to you know talk to me and everything because you know these hormones are going but I love you guys and I wish you guys a happy holiday bye